Heptabase just released another update. This is crazy, okay? So I really liked the direction they were going with AI. They took a long time to roll out AI, but now with this, you really see they put a lot of thought into this. With the first version of AI, we had just this chat window, right? And we were able to chat with our current cards and so on. But obviously the first thing I wondered was, can we chat with whiteboards? And now we can. And it's not just, you know, asking general questions. Look what happens if I ask a question about this whiteboard here, which is a whiteboard where I made some thoughts about how to restructure the YouTube channels we are running. We have whole cards in there that have scripts in there. So there's a lot of content going on on this whiteboard. It's pretty big. It has connections and all this. Let's see what Heptabase AI integration will make out of this. So we open up the chat here and we can ask questions. I connected Gemini 2.5 Pro and uh, currently you do this by using your own API key. So I added my API key. We are in premium mode. We have thinking switched on. You can just click here and say current tab and it will add this as context. And now we ask the question besides from this whiteboard and let it run. And you can even follow the thinking process in a moment. It will start working, see, and now you can open it up and now it went, goes through the thing. It focuses on a whiteboard structure to extract meaning. This is amazing. So it really looks at the structure. I'm curious about this here. Pinpointing core themes, discovering deeper connections. So identifying key insights, synthesizing and so on. And now it's giving me a result. And this is what I really like about this. It's not just giving you a summary or something out of this of the whiteboard. It actually gives you references where it found the information from. And if you click on a reference, it moves to the position inside the whiteboard that it got this information from. And now let's see what we have. The core philosophy, redefining productivity leverage over speed, a practical framework. So it took out the things here and identified the insights from the whiteboard all over the place. And I can ask specific questions, right? So while this is thinking, let's look what we can do with this. We can have here, rename this chat, okay? It already added a title to this chat. We can share it. We can change the source. So we can switch source here. We can start a chat from the messages, okay? So I can start a new chat out of a message that I select here or several messages. But now you see it makes even more sense to throw context on the whiteboard. And if you're a Paperless Movement member, you know that we split our content by projects, key elements and topics. When I go into key elements, you see here things like my health. So I'm really curious how this works. If I run the AI on these things, obviously that's private. I won't do this here, but let's see for the paperless movement. If we just have whiteboards there, what happens if we run this on the whiteboard itself? Just having whiteboards there. What is this? Okay, now it struggles to recognize this as a whiteboard. So it seems if there's nothing there except for other whiteboards on a whiteboard it's not recognizing it makes sense because this would be wildly complex that it needs to go into each whiteboard and there could be another whiteboard nested in there so I guess at the moment I add a card here test card for AI okay it recognizes it uh, and it finds this one card so therefore we have proven it's ignoring any nested whiteboards here and it focuses on this one card that we now can delete again okay so in general I think Think it's amazing. I can search for any cards. I can also mention in here like I would do anywhere else. And I can ask questions. What about this? This is an audio transcript. And now the question is, will they add a feature that it will create or generate a whiteboard out of the conversation? If we ask about, uh, you know, create new workflow out of this and you just keep talking, that would be the consequence of all the things that they implement, that that would be another thing they created. That would be amazing. There we go. See, it actually gets the point. I can click here and what wow, this is amazing, man. Look at this. If you have audio there, it jumps to the position in the audio file that it found the information from. This is amazing. This is really amazing, guys. Now I'm really curious if we have a YouTube video. Let's see. Here's a video card. Okay. Why you need to be. Let's see if, if we can. And now it's adding the, the references. And there we go. Here they are. And I click. Boom. Click. Boom. And it, you know, it highlights even the start and end point of this. That's amazing. It's working. It's been in Python. But it 
Man, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. Now it makes all the sense even make my audio recording, you know, make voice messages and things like that because I can now chat with my knowledge base, but in such a great way. Well, are you already testing it yourself? What do you think about the AI implementation? I'm really surprised because the first insights feature that was really cumbersome to realize and recognize what this is all about. But now we have a real great feature and, and using the most powerful LNMs with my own knowledge is amazing. I can add my own API keys for the Claude Opus 4 as well and things like that. I am certainly will keep testing it out to see if this is really practical on a daily basis. But in general, I'm really excited about how well Heptabase implemented AI here. So thanks to the team. Keep up the great work. It's insane what you're pushing out recently. <laughs> so I am excited to see the future. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and I'll catch you up in the next one if you subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.